Known as the Pearl of Africa, Uganda has long been renowned for its immense beauty. The country has significant natural resources and geographic diversity. But which are the main challenges this Eastern African country is facing? Are there any advantages the country can profit from? What has been done so far to improve the general social and economic situation in Uganda? Join Asia Business Channel as we explore the emerging country of Uganda. Located at the heart of East and Central Africa, a region that includes some of Africa's most economically important countries, Uganda offers a strategic location. With the keen support of the government, the nation today has great potential to become the business and investment hub of the East African region. Uganda's developing economy is the result of one man's vision, His Excellency President Yoweri Kugata Museveni. In power since 1986, he has been lauded by the West as part of a new generation of African leaders. Uganda has been producing raw materials for the Western world for more than 100 years. In spite of th this big production of raw materials, we get a very low value. So therefore, the first area of investment opportunity is in agro-processing. The other area is services, services especially tourism. And the third area is uh, uh, ICT, uh, information technology. The, the final area is in mine processing, uh, processing minerals. One of the most economically liberal countries in Africa, Uganda is becoming a leader in the region for privatization and industrial projects. It is projected that this economy will be able to grow at least 6% in the next 5 to 10 years. It has already grown by between 6 and 11% over more than 10 year period. And it's projected that that growth will continue. Because um, the foundations for economic growth are in place. One of the key foundations, of course, is political stability. But um, the other foundations are just the macroeconomic environment and stability. Uganda has consistently attracted people from all over the world. Apart from its open, friendly, and hospitable population, it has a secure environment and a history of religious tolerance. And moreover, the weather is great. The country today offers a number of advantages for interested investors, both from Asia and the Middle East. People are very well educated, the labor force is good, the infrastructure is better than average. So it's a great place to invest. The macroeconomics are working well, the countries are growing, inflation is under control, financial sector is doing well. So I would be saying if there is a time to make a decision to come and check out East Africa, the time is now. Uganda has several economic assets. Asia Business Channels made a list of the five most important export products. At number five is tobacco. Uganda is one of the few countries in Africa with tobacco to rival that of the Caribbean. It's known for its smooth, gentle flavor. Ugandan tea makes it to number four. It is now exported to many countries all over the world. With a landscape as fertile as it gets, this is no surprise. The scarcity of Ugandan gold has only increased its value globally. Ugandan gold is at number three on our list. 
At number two are fish products. Lake Victoria is rich in marine life, and freshwater fish not only sustains the millions of inhabitants of the country, but the continent as well. And what is the number one export product of Uganda? Coffee. Known for its bitter overtones yet overly pleasant aftertaste, it is one of the finest coffees in the world. Solving Uganda's housing shortage, National Housing and Construction Company Limited. We're the biggest property developer in the country, aiming to increase home ownership and mortgage availability. We're looking for finance and construction partners. We plan to build more than 5,000 homes in the next five years. And here's just a sample of what we've already achieved. National Housing and Construction Company Limited, your investment opportunity in Uganda. Not just another corporate chain, the Fairway Hotel, where we do things differently. A family-run hotel since 1969, set in 4.5 acres of beautifully landscaped grounds, walking distance from the center of Kampala. The tranquility of the countryside, here in the capital. A place to work and relax. Our clients return year after year for our hospitality, cuisine, comfort, and value for money. The Fairway Hotel, welcome home. The most exclusive, attractive address in Kampala, golf course apartments. Luxurious one, two, and three bedroom serviced apartments, fully equipped with excellent security. Our levels of customer care are second to none. It's not just our apartments that are special. We've got a fitness center, two swimming pools, and a tennis court. Some apartments have a spectacular golf course view. Golf course apartments, Kampala's top choice. Uganda's leading brewer, employing more than 1,000 people across East Africa. Named most respected company in East Africa five years in a row by PricewaterhouseCoopers. Welcome to East African Breweries Limited. In Uganda, our subsidiary is UBL, Uganda Breweries. Our flagship brands are Bell Lager, Pilsner Ice, Pilsner Extra, and Guinness. We're also the top spirits distiller in Uganda. In 1999, our Port Bell Brewery was completely modernized and our factory has never closed. We believe in corporate citizenship and responsible drinking. We're a local success story, delivering job security to Ugandans. Our values are, we're proud of what we do. We aim to be the best, operating to international standards. We're passionate about consumers. We give each other the freedom to succeed. We value each other, caring for our customers and particularly our employees. Uganda Breweries, putting Uganda on the map. Although still relatively young, Uganda's emerging financial sector is vibrant and well supported by banking, legal, accounting and insurance support services. The Central Bank of Uganda controls the country's monetary policy. It has controlled inflation very successfully, and the Ugandan shilling is now a stable currency. The financial sector is still mainly dominated by commercial banks. And what we did over the, over the 90s and now was to implement uh, um, uh, policies that will make the financial sector strong. Um, and so we implemented a number of reforms over the 90s. Uh, and, and thanks to those reforms, 
the financial sector has been very strong. The non-performing assets in the, in the financial sector are at the lowest. Uh, banks are making money. Yes, so yes, it's growing. The capital or equity market in the country comprises mainly of the recently launched Uganda Securities Exchange Limited and stockbroking firms. Investors can rely on the country's world-class financial services sector for local expertise. It's a very liberal place to do business. Liberal as in you can bring in money, you can take out of all your profits, actually. There's no limitation to that. There are no do's or don'ts in as far as you can do this business or cannot do that business as long as there's a Lego business. So you can raise capital on the stock exchange, you can through private equity, through foreign uh, investment. So there are a lot of possibilities from that side as well. Business operations in Uganda have really uh, greatly improved over the years. To improve, we need to cut down on the bu bureaucracy that is involved in setting up businesses, especially startups like ourselves. Um, we need uh, we need more of uh, foreign investors coming in uh, to be encouraged to you know compete uh, in this kind of market that's really moving quite fast. Uganda is the part of Africa. It's very beautiful. Politically, we are stable. It's actually safe to even to move at night. There are no security issues, so I can just grab a taxi and go to any place. I've never seen such fertile land in my life. Everything you put in the ground grows. I've seen big fruit so big, I couldn't believe gift by nature. Exotic and beautiful. And I can't wait to come back again. My Uganda, a personal look at what makes Uganda special to the people that live there. My Uganda is about running Cafe Pub. I've been running it for the last four years. My clientele is a mixture of expatriates, business people, locals, government officials. It's a bit of a challenge meeting their needs. Cafe Pub has become a community-based cafe. It's a gathering place, especially in the evening. It's very popular for its wireless, for its cappuccinos and coffees. We are passionate about our coffee, the way we create them, the way we handle them. Coffee needs respect. When I see Cafe Park full, especially in the evenings, I feel so great. They become part of my family. This is my Uganda. Uganda's rich red dirt employs over 80% of the labor force and accounts for over 90% of export earnings. This rich red dirt is often referred to as blood dirt, as it is said that anything you put in the ground will flourish. As Uganda forms part of the East African Plateau, Favorable conditions for food and cash crop cultivation are found in most areas. Nearly 75% of arable land that receives reliable rainfall is continuously cultivated or used as pastures, but large areas of the country are still underutilized. The challenges facing me as a Minister of Agriculture and facing our country is to upgrade agricultural business 
into commercial um, enterprises. The advantages we have as a country is our country is, is, is very rich um, natural, resource wise. There's plenty of rainfall. So we have a lot of advantages which we need now to, we need to tap by improving the method of farming and uh, commercializing uh, agriculture to generate wealth to the peasants. One of the most important products for the country is coffee. It turns out to be the biggest foreign exchange earner. Coffee is also important socially and economically. Coffee is important economically because it earns more than 30% of the foreign exchange earnings uh, for, the, for the country. Uh, it is also important because it is the biggest employer where uh, more than 25% uh, of the population directly depend uh, on coffee. And coffee is grown uh, essentially by small scale holding, uh, so it makes Ugandan coffee even more competitive uh, in, in terms of uh, cost of production. Uganda grows both types of coffee that are cultivated around the world, Robusta and Arabica. In fact, Uganda is the country where the Robusta coffee trees come from. It is grown throughout the year, which makes Uganda unique in terms of coffee production. The coffee industry in Uganda is quite unique, so the international community, and especially the consuming countries, and particularly the emerging uh, markets for coffee like uh, Southeast Asia uh, should look at Ugandan, uh, Ugandan coffee and explore the pleasure and the exotic and rare coffees that we have. Uganda is gifted with various water bodies such as Lake Victoria. No wonder it has a wide variety of fish. At the moment, Uganda exports around 100 million US dollars worth of fish, but there are possibilities for expansion. Fish sector is very important to the Ugandan community. It brings in a lot of foreign exchange to this country. It employs a lot of people directly and it also employs a lot indirectly like the fishermen. We lack the professionalism and the, the right partnership. But if we can add value to our product, that means we can bring in more foreign exchange, create more employment, and, and this, the industry can be self-sustainable. We also invite investors to come, um, either come directly with their capital and identify we are ready to help them. Solving Uganda's housing shortage, National Housing and Construction Company Limited. We're the biggest property developer in the country, aiming to increase home ownership and mortgage availability. We're looking for finance and construction partners. We plan to build more than 5,000 homes in the next five years. And here's just a sample of what we've already achieved. National Housing and Construction Company Limited, your investment opportunity in Uganda. Uganda's first fish processing company to be ISO quality certified and meeting European Union standards with an HACCP system in place. Uganda Fish Packers, part of the Alpha Group, with nine fish processing plants across East Africa, exporting top quality freshwater and marine products worldwide. Named best exporter in Uganda for 2005. Our new Biotech Omega project showcases our ability to add value. Uganda Fish Packers, quality counts. Drink the exotic smooth coffee of Uganda. Here at the Uganda Coffee Development Authority, we want you to discover the benefits of high quality coffee produced organically. Already the world's sixth largest coffee producer, Uganda offers value added products meeting international standards. From our new base in China, we would like to create partnerships across China and Southeast Asia. The Uganda Coffee Development Authority. High value coffee waiting to be discovered. My Uganda, a personal look at what makes Uganda special to the people that live there. My Uganda is the River Nile, 
I'm Cam McClay from Adrift and we offer whitewater rafting trips on the source of the Nile in Uganda. There's something for everybody, whether you're two years old or 72 years old. The whitewater rafting is probably the most exciting to be found anywhere in the world. And if that's not enough, you can begin the day by bungee jumping. People who haven't been here have this perception that it's a dangerous place. But I live here with my family, my young children, and it's particularly safe. The Ugandans just embrace visitors and they're particularly friendly. So people go away feeling warm from the sunshine and warm from the reception that they've had here. Whitewater rafting and bungee jumping, this is my Uganda. Known for its beauty, Uganda is surely worth visiting. Here is Asia Business Channel's top five of the tourist activities you can't possibly miss. At number five, we have shopping at the local craft markets. Not only can you buy very nice souvenirs, but while doing this, you also support the local economy. A visit to the source of the Nile is at number four. The legendary river flows from here all the way to the Mediterranean Sea. Dream of its great historical significance. Enjoy animal spotting in a beautiful natural setting. A visit to one of the many national parks makes it to number three. At number two is whitewater rafting on the River Nile. The really adventurous can enjoy up to class five rapids not for the faint-hearted. And what is the top tourism attraction? Gorilla tracking. Experience an eye-to-eye -eye meeting with our closest relatives in their natural habitat. You will never forget it. Uganda is one of the most beautiful countries in Africa with fantastic natural scenery. Visitors to the country will find some of the region's most peaceful national parks, home to half of the world's remaining mountain gorilla population, and a wide variety of bird species and wild ranges. We have the Big Five, the traditional Big Five, but also a unique species to Uganda, the mountain gorilla. We boast of half uh, the world's population in Ibuindi. So these attractions have led to a steady growth in the tourism sector in Uganda over the last 10 years. There are also numerous opportunities for mountain climbing and water sports such as whitewater rafting. The country is already gaining a steady reputation as a premier tourist destination in Africa. With its rich ecotourism potential, Uganda is the ideal choice for tour operators targeting niche market areas such as bird watching, gorilla safaris, and mountain trekking. The country can be marketed as a new destination with tailor-made packages that are different from the mass tourism that other African countries have been offering. In terms of the challenges now, what we need is to invest in infrastructure to support this fast-growing tourism sector in the country. We need investment in the transport sector we need to improve on our roads, access roads to the national parks. Uganda is a very beautiful destination to go to and it shouldn't, you shouldn't waste this chance. And it is not a very expensive adventure. Please try it out.
God must have uh, created Uganda before he created any other part of the world. Through Africa. The food has been great, the weather has been wonderful. They say it's never too cold or too hot. It's a very exotic and very green, a lot of nature. The Nile is magnificent. Uganda is quite a friendly country. The most friendliest country I've ever been in. They are very honest people. They're wonderful. Yeah, they are. They're, they're fantastically welcoming. The best way I can describe it is that Uganda is really friendly. It's a beautiful country. Home. I love it. Providing international standards of service in Uganda, it can only be Europe Car. For short or long-term rentals or leases, we can take care of it all. Choose from saloon cars through to 4x4s or trucks. When it comes to customer care, we deliver. Our reliable vehicles, quality service, and professional team are all part of the Europe Car difference. Europe Car. You rent a lot more than a car. Your home away from home in the heart of Kampala. We value our clients, catering for business executives, tourists, and travelers, offering exceptional service from our professional staff. Mosa Court Apartments has 119 fully equipped suites, Modern Health Club, international fine dining at the Mosa Grill, complimentary internet access in all rooms. Also, providing our guests with conference facilities and a business center. Mosa Court Apartments, enter a world of Ugandan flair and the experience of a lifetime. Uganda offers an exceptional opportunity for business in the heart of Africa. We welcome you. We, we are some of the most hospitable people in the world. We are loving and uh, we shall welcome you to do business. Ugandans are very peaceful, they're very loving, and uh, they'll help you out. They'll go out of their way to make sure that your stay is very comfortable. Uganda is so fertile. You can grow anything. Just throw it on the ground without even cultivating it and they start growing it. We are right at the heart of Africa. So you can reach the east, the west, the south, the north from Uganda. In terms of the natural setup, in terms of the cultural setup, Uganda is one country that any visitor out there in the world should never miss in a lifetime. With a strategic location and a government keen on developing the economy to its full potential, interested investors can rest assured that their ventures into this East African country will be fruitful.